Light is a complex phenomenon. It exhibits both wave-like and particle-like properties. This complexity makes it difficult for one model to describe all of life's properties. As a result, different models are used to describe different aspects of light's behavior. The electromagnetic wave theory explains light's ability to travel through a vacuum and the energy associated with different types of light, while the light ray model can describe interactions between light and matter. The light ray model makes the assumption that light travels in a straight line through transparent media such as air or water. The model also assumes that light rays behave in predictable manner when they encounter surfaces such as the interface between different media, air and water for example, or the surface of an opaque object. This predictable behavior makes it possible to determine the path a light ray will follow as it moves from its point of origin to wherever it eventually changes into another form of en energy such as heat. When a light ray encounters a surface, one or more of the following three things occur. The light ray either reflects off the surface and travels off in a different direction, passes from one medium into the other and continues on a new straight line path, or is absorbed. Often with packets of light, more than one of these occur, and the behavior that dominates depends upon the type of interface and the angle at which the light ray falls on the surface. With this picture of a flower seen through a window, you can see that all the different properties of light interacting with material can be seen. Much of the light hitting the flower that allows the camera to see it comes from the sun that's passing through the transparent glass. In this case, the rays of light are passing from outside through the glass, hitting the flower, reflecting off the flower, passing back through the glass to the camera. While other rays of light from the sun are hitting other objects outside, such as the car, reflecting off the car, then hitting the glass and reflecting into the camera lens. So in a, in a simple picture like this, we can see the complex behavior of light. And there is even things going on that we can't see, including light reflecting off the flower inside, hitting the glass and reflecting back into the room. And to see those reflected light, we would have to go around into the room and look for a reflection of the flower in the window. There's a specific set of terminology used to describe the behavior of light rays. The light ray that hits a surface from its origin is called the incident ray. The behavior of the light once it hits the surface is always described relative to a line normal to the surface. And a normal line to a surface is a line that is perpendicular to that surface at a 90 degree angle. The angle of incidence of an incident ray is the angle between the ray itself and the line normal to the surface. The behavior of a light ray once it encounters the surface depends upon the angle at which it hits the surface and the characteristics of the surface it hits.